Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here, Team Toyota of Princeton, to check out this brand new 2024 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium Trim in the color of Underground, which is one of my favorite Toyota colors, especially on this TRD Off-Road. So we're going to dig into this 2024. They've kept it around another model year. No changes from 2023 that I can see so far, but we're going to check it out see what it's bringing to this off-road SUV segment for the 2024 model year. So let's dig in. Front end of our TRD off-road 4Runner, looking good underground with the flat black on the grill, flat black on the Toyota badge in the center, looks good. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps, standard bulbs for turn signals, skid plate under the front end, that silver trim down below around the license plate, which I think is good. The underground might have just buried the design of the lower end of the front grille. But otherwise, it looks really good. What I'm not a big fan of here is the non-functional hood scoop. I would have liked to seen them punch that through, make that a functional part of the vehicle. And then we have some fake venting here, but it works into our fog lamp. So I'm not too worried about that. But overall, it's just one of the great, SUV designs, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. All right, our wheel and tire setup on this 4Runner, we have these optional wheels. So what these are, are these are 17-inch cast aluminum pro wheel in matte black from the SEMA show. That's what we got on here. TRD badge on the center cap, looking good. Now, these upgraded wheels, 17 still, are wrapped in Bridgestone Dueler, HT tires, 265 on the width, a massive 70 series sidewall, 17s all four corners, four wheel drive. Full side profile of our TRD off-road 4Runner in the underground, great looking color, really a charcoal gray, but it's got a creaminess to it, which I really like. The TRD red on the wheels to really fit in. No chrome anywhere, which I think was a good move with this spec, but just a great classic 4Runner shape. Let me know what you guys think. As we move on closer, what I find interesting here is right here on the fender flares, they are painted and not flat black. I think that was an interesting choice, but I like it. We have the running boards down below to help you get into this taller vehicle. We got a 9.6 inch ground clearance on this uh, TRD off-road. Now we got color match side view mirror, with our LED turn signals, color matched on the front and the rear door handle. There's our TRD off-road script. Up top, we're looking at the color matched roof with shark fin antenna. We got the roof rails and a standard sunroof. Taking a look at the back end of our 4Runner, what I do like is we have the rear wiper tucked up underneath the roof spoiler. It's going to swoop down to clean the glass. And obviously this glass is automatic up and down, so it was a good way to hide that. You couldn't put the wiper up here, down here, if you have glass that moves up and down. So a good deal there. Roof spoiler blacked out. Toyota badge with black 4Runner all in flat black, color matched all the way down. LED taillights, standard bulbs, return signals. Got some aluminum uh, finish right here, the tow hitch, and then our exhaust coming out the right side of the vehicle. And that is a specialized blacked out TRD exhaust on this 4Runner, but it looks good. Let me know what you think. We are under the hood of this 2024 4Runner TRD off-road. What do we have for a power plant? We have that gorgeous four liter of naturally aspirated V6 engine made it to a five-speed automatic transmission. 270 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque. The 4Runner can tow up to 5,000 pounds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 19 on the highway, 17 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get to the rest of the review, I did want to let you know that Team Toyota of Princeton is providing Shabby's Ride subscribers with special pricing on this 4Runner or any other 4Runner they may have on the lot for sale. In order to unlock that special pricing, you need to do three things. Number one, you need to subscribe to the Shabby's Ride's YouTube channel. Number two, you need to call Team Toyota of Princeton at the number on the screen below. 
give them the promo code to unlock that special pricing. Now, let's get back to the review. Before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much am I going to have to lay out for one of these babies? I've been looking for a, a forerunner. I love the fact that it's back in 2024 without any changes from 23. Totally indestructible. How much am I going to have to lay out to get one of these? Well, the TRD Off-Road Premium is the second highest level trim in the forerunner lineup for 24. And it's an expensive one. So let's see what we got going on. MSRP Base for the Forerunner TRD Off-Road Premium Trim, 424 is $46,880. Now, this one has quite a bit of options on it, so let's run them down. You have to add in 1750 for the Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System, or KDSS. You have to add in an additional 345 for the running boards. An extra 630 for the power tilt slide moonroof. An extra 850 for the off-road premium plus package. They give you a credit of 750 for the keep it wild savings. Then they add in another 309 for the all-weather floor liners and cargo tray. An extra 100 bucks for the black exhaust tips. An extra 195 for the blackout emblem overlays. An extra 185 for the crossbars an extra 115 for the door edge guards, an extra 185 for the high performance LED fog lights in black, an extra 129 for the dual USB uh, power port charger up front, and then an extra $1,700 for the 17 inch cast pro wheel in matte black SEMA. So there's the action on those wheels and that's why they look so darn good they're SEMA wheels from Toyota love it so now after destination and delivery of $1,395 from Toyota's Tahara Aichi Japan assembly plant we have a total MSRP for this vehicle from the factory of $54,018 let's check out the interior Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. You got the push on off emergency brake right there. Our floor mats are in the cargo area at this time. Seating wise, we have power seats with lumbar for the driver, power seat without lumbar for the front passenger, black soft tex with the red stitching, nicely done TRD embo uh, embossed, or excuse me, embroidered into the, the uh, headrests up front. Looks good, nice bolstering, nice clean interior. Door panels looking good with the soft techs up top with the red stitching, more soft techs on the door armrest with stitching, nice and soft, flat black on the switch gear, chrome door handle. We do have a little gloss black there on the grab handle. The seat pocket, not bad, but a little skinny. And then we have our standard eight speaker audio system in here. We have plastic up here, some gray trim right here, which looks nice. And then down below here, you have a nice large glove box. Center stack, here we go. We have the older system right in here, but we'll start up top with our lovely digital clock. And then we have our four-way hazards, two heat and air vents. And then we have Toyota's older 8-inch multimedia system wired, Apple CarPlay wired, Android Auto. But we do have USB connectivity all around this vehicle, so that's going to help. We do have our uh, maps right here, so we got the built-in nav, and it is uh, it's a little, I take that back. It's a bit glitchy with this older system. But what are you going to do? You can go to menu. You can Bluetooth your phone. You can get your vehicle setup done. You can project your phone. You can go to vehicle setup. You can get your Bluetooth connected, phone connected, enter your voice commands, Wi-Fi hotspot, all that jazz in here. So it's an older system, but it's still very functional. We go to reverse and look at that. We got a nice backup camera with 360 degree view we can go ahead and change our views down here if we would like but the backup camera is older and it is a bit grainy but i do like the fact that we have the 360 in here since we got all the towing action going on in this trd off-road premium again with that seven and four pin tow connector as well in the back of this now as we move down here we have our standard heat and air so this is our fan speed this is our temperature control, 
And if you want to have the AC on, there's your AC button. This is our air recirc. This is our rear defrost. Down further, we have an area for storage. And then we have right here, we have dual USB-A's. This looks like an HDMI right here. And then another area for storage underneath that. And of course, if you have a USB-C connector on your phone, you can get a, a, uh, an adapter from Amazon to convert USB-A to USB-C for about $5. So they're not very expensive. More down here. We do have a cup holder here, an area for change there. Here is our four-wheel drive right here. Two high, four, uh, four uh, high, and all that good stuff right here. Then we have our gear shift. That's a TRD gear shift, as you can see the TRD on there, and the silver to go through this five-speed automatic. I love the faux carbon fiber in and around here. That's going to take care of any fingerprints. We do have this control for the rear uh, window. So if we take a look at that rear window back there, and then we hit the button, down she goes. And then we can put it back up by pulling back up on the button, and up she comes. So nicely done. We have two-stage heated seats for the two front passengers, cup holder, an area to slide your phone. And then we have our Toyota key fob right here in the baggie to protect it. Pre fairly plain, though. Lock, unlock, and your panic button. Toyota badge on the back. And then we have our center armrest, soft tex, stitching. Open it on up. Nice area for storage and a 12 volt. Toyota steering wheel, nice steering wheel with the stitching Toyota badge on the uh, horn button. We do have some uh, black to kind of lift it up. It's not a gloss black, it's kind of a different color, and I don't see any fingerprints getting on it, so I kind of like that. Round bottom wheel, now we have a manual tilt and telescoping wheel. I have it set in its highest position, and the, the driver's seat set down in its lowest position, and I'm able to get in and out of the cockpit, just so you know. But on your switch gear, you got your volume, voice commands, modes for infotainment, telephone right here, and then up here, you got your controls for the digital portion of your dash. And then down below here, you got your parking sensors and lane keep assist. On the right here, there's your cruise control on the steering column. And then down over here on the left, you got your push button to start and heated steering wheel on or off. As we swing around to the left side, you can go with your mirror controls, right and dim the dash, auto high beams, camera views. This is the on off button for the power source in the back. And then you have your windshield wiper de-icer. And now, as far as our wheel goes, again, like I said, manual tilt and telescoping wheel. So they got you covered there. And then you got your analog digital combo, right? Analog gauges for your speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and coolant temperature. And then you can go through additional information here in the center. Nice and simple, easy peasy. Overhead console, and in typical Forerunner fashion, we have a lot of action going up here. First things first, if you want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, this switch to the right on the picture of the vehicle with two doors open. So when you open it up, lighting comes on, close the door, lighting goes off. But in a $54,000 vehicle, this needs to be LED. Now, as we move in, we have three garage door programmables right here. And then on this side, you have your roof controls. We'll get back to that in a minute. Traction control off right here. Advanced track, lock the diff. Now we have our crawl control and multi-terrain select control there. You have your standard rear view mirror. And now to get this open, you got your slide. That's a manual shade. And then you can slide it back. Wind buffeter pops up. And now slide it back close. And we do have a tilt function in here as well. And then after it's closed, you can just close the shade yourself. We have our sun visor with vanity and a light. And does it slide? No, but you do have an extension. Getting in the back of this TRD Off-Road 4Runner, the seat is set for my driving position. We'll hop on in. There are running boards there if you need them. We get in, no problem. 5 foot 11, plenty of headroom, shoulder width room, and knee space. Soft text all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. In the back, two heat and air vents, two USB-Cs for connectivity. And then here in the back, back door panel, 
same action as the front, same use of materials, same use of different textures. So it looks really good. There's our front door panel looking good. Here's the rear door panel looking the same. Back seats, same soft hex, nice and soft with the stitching, nice and comfortable. And then our center armrest, super soft, two big cup holders right here. And you can pop these out and make them even bigger. So if you have a smaller cup, you got that. Take this out. King size, super, uh, big gulp, no problem, and it goes. So I like that simple but nice convenience in the back of this 4Runner as far as the cup holders go. But it is nice and comfortable here in the back of this, and the seats feel really good. Getting into the back of the 4Runner, well, it's simple. You come to the back, right underneath the Toyota badge, hit it, lift up. No electric assist on this one. And now, with the rear seats up, this is a two-row SUV. You got 47.2 cubic feet of cargo space in the back. As we move in closer, here are your carpeted floor mats right here that say, if I could get this stupid thing out of the way, ah, turn them over, that say 4Runner TRD Off-Road, so that's a nice touch. These are the crossbars. Here is the all-weather cargo mat, and these are the all-weather cargo mats, not the crossbars, excuse me. And then we have these caps as well in here. They got a lot of accessories. Now we get to some real action. 12 volt home power source in the back. Some area, extra areas for storage, which look good, which I like. We'll take a gander behind the tow hitch. There's our full size spare right there. So they got you covered there. However, you still got to go through the two step process to drop the rear seats. So I'll be right back with you and we'll show you how that's done. All right, lower in the back row on our TRD Off-Road 4Runner, it is still the same older design 4Runner. So you have actually three things you have to do to get the seats down. Number one, there's a pull strap on the seat bottom. And you pull that up and move that forward. Now, up on the headrest, there is a little switch or lever that you pull to flatten down the headrest. And then there's a button on the seat back that you push and it comes down and there's a channel on the bottom of the seat for that headrest to slide into and it goes all the way down. So once you lift that up, there's the switch on the headrest, fold it forward and then the button right here is on the top of the seat back and down it goes. Now I'll do the other side off camera and I'll meet you at the back of the vehicle. Now with that Back row seating down all the way and flat. We're looking at 89.7 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this 4Runner. And nice and tall. There's no uh, parcel shelf or tonneau cover to worry about. Plenty of room back here. Toyota window sticker. We'll zoom on in. 4Runner for 2024 in the underground. There's your safety ratings. There's your fuel economy estimates, which isn't much. Standard equipment on the left, options on the right. Total vehicle MSRP. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 2024 4Runner TRD Off-Road and it it's totally old school. They've kept the old school 4Runner around and for another model year, which for me I think I think is great because I love this 4 liter V6 and the 5 speed automatic. It's just an indestructible drivetrain. The vehicle is just so simple in its construction and so well built. This will last you for hundreds of thousands of miles. So whatever I tell people, if you're looking for an off-road SUV or an SUV in general, and you're only going to keep it a couple of three years and then get something else, you know, I wouldn't bother buying a 4Runner because these are designed to last you 10, 15, 20 years. And therefore, they could be more expensive than some of the other competition you may be looking at. But if you want to keep a vehicle a long time, 10 years or more, then this is the old school SUV that is going to be bulletproof reliable, except for your maintenance that you need to do on any car. 
it's not it's it's just going to be there for you whenever you need it and that's why these things are so popular the underground's a great color on this we got the SEMA wheels TRD wheels let me know what you think about those I think they look pretty cool for cast aluminum wheels uh, but you got all you really need in here as far as uh, tech goes right you get your 8 inch screen you got wired wired carplay and android auto you got USB A and USB C connectivity heated seats heated steering wheel soft text feels really good the seats are really comfortable you got the moon, uh, moon roof if you'd like it uh, you got obviously your off-road crawl control multi-terrain select you got the KDSS system in here so you got a lot of stuff in this at 54 grand but let me know what you think about the price of this at 54 grand it, it's a lot of money for an suv no doubt about it and plus you got plenty of room in the back for hauling stuff around and you can take this just about anywhere off-road and i think you'd have a lot of fun with it it's designed for light off-roading you can do more heavy off-roading in this if you would like it's just a really well put together forerunner and i'm going to be sad when it's gone but when will it be gone who knows we'll do a emergency stop here in three two one oh yeah they just grabbed them. Woo! and then we'll take off nice and linear not a fast vehicle and it's not going to handle in corners it's not what's designed for but the the steering is really good I like the steering it feels good it's a little bit heavier than you would normally find in an SUV and I kind of like that it gives me a better feel for what I'm doing as far as what my tires are doing on the road so I do like how they have this set up as far as the steering goes in in here and you know it's damped really really well takes the bumps really really well it's just really well, well designed and well put together. No doubt about it. Turning radius time, 18.7 feet on the turning radius. A good number for an old school SUV. Let's try it out. Mm, I don't know about 18.7 feet. I don't know about that. But you got my backup camera. There it is. Looking good. That seems a little bit wider than 18.7, folks. But... You know what? I'm not going to hold it against it. You get it around. Here we go. We're going to take off, see how she does. Now we're going to feather in the engine since this is a brand new vehicle. So here we go. And you're up to speed and down the road you go. No problem. Easy peasy. One, two, three. And it just handles well, feels good, very practical, old school SUV. If this is what you're looking at, it's back again for another model year in 2024. Who knows when they're going to come up with the redesign. You know, we, we've announced Camry redesign for 25. They've looks like they're going to have a RAV4 redesign for 2025. Will they bring out the next generation 4Runner in 25? I don't know, and I'm not going to speculate right now. I'm just going to enjoy the fact that we have this old school 4Runner back for another model year here in 2024. But let me know what you think about this 4Runner. Is the TRD off-road the 4Runner you would go with, or would you go with something less expensive let me know in the comments or is this too old school for you and you need something more modern you're going to go somewhere else with your hard-earned money let me know that in the comments as well but i would like to thank team toyota of princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2024 toyota 4runner trd off-road premium trim in underground for review today i'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.